Hey guys, welcome to my channel Hershu Education and yesterday we had WWDC 2020 and uh, in this video we'll, we'll talk about everything about WWDC 2020. We'll take you through the keynote in just a few minutes. So let's get right into it. So uh, yesterday we had uh, in WWDC 2020 uh, we had an announcement for iOS 14. So now we have iOS 14. So with iOS 14 uh, we have so many features like app library, redesign widgets, picture in pictures, Siri, uh, there's a lot of more features with messages, maps and CarPlay and then there is something called app clip. So let's get into everything in detail. So with app library, uh, it's a new way to, uh, you know, uh, organize your applica application. So previously, we ha if, you, if you had a lot of application, you had to scroll through your, uh, swipe through your home screen to look for one single application, which was very difficult. So now they have come up with the app library where you will have your apps categorized uh, in groups like social entertainment recently added and you can just click over here and check for your apps uh, uh, In no time. So it would be quick access to your app apps using app library Then uh, there is a whole new design for widgets so you can have like different uh, size for widgets and you can add and remove and you can like drag your uh, you can drag your application from widgets to your main application so for widgets they have come up with different design you can have small widgets and big widgets and you can decide the size uh, by yourself Pictures in picture, that is the most um, asked uh, feature from Apple. So it's like uh, for any video, uh, you can play the video on the screen while doing anything else. So let's say uh, you have open uh, uh, notes application, you can play the video on the go while using the notes application or any other application like the messenger application. You can resize the uh, uh, video size uh, in while you're doing something else and then you can minimize it completely and just listen to the um, audio and do whatever you are doing so that is pictures and pictures then with new Siri uh, the new Siri won't be taking up the whole screen which was very tacky even I think so uh, because I couldn't do anything else while I'm talking to Siri for uh, f to get me something so now uh, uh, the new Siri feature is like uh, it will come at the bottom of uh, the screen which you are using and then the results will come on top as uh, notifications so which, this is very useful I believe and I, I, I bet even you would like it then with messages um, we have a pin conversation if you want to pin any uh, you know any person then you can obviously pin them this was uh, there in many other applications like whatsapp so you can do it now with message messages as well uh, you can mention anyone using their name and then you will get notified only when uh, this person uh, sends a message in the group then you we have some new emojis these are the three emojis they have added in this year and then we have inline reply as well now with messages like you can reply to the person who was uh, like inline replies there you can reply to one single message and then it will create a new conversation itself so that was all with messages then and with maps uh, there are many other things like they have added a uh, good feature for guide uh, guiding like uh, to guide you for uh, best places and then uh, the one which uh, which is completely new is the cycling direction uh, so with the other options you will get cycling option as well and you will get direction for cycling um, in the new map and then uh, you will get EV routing uh, as well. Uh, so if you are if you have a charging car, then you will get EV routing option, and you will get all the charging points, charging points available for your car to charge your car. So EV routing is available in the new map. Then with CarPlay, um, uh, they have new wallpaper option for CarPlay and then and there is some more options. Uh, so these options, these top options were all already there. Now they have come up with parking, EV charging and then something for picking up food or restaurants. So these three new options. And then with CarPlay, uh, for BMW as of now, only for BMW as of now, uh, there is a digital car key. So you can open your car, you can unlock your car using your uh, phone itself. And then you can share your cars uh, with any, anybody else using your phone. So as of now, this feature is available with BMW with some specific model. Uh, they are planning to roll it out to you know, other cars as well. 
and then with app store there is app clip so uh, if you do not have any app in your device and you need that application uh, apple will tell you which app to download so there there will be like app app clip code or nfsc uh, tag or qr code or shared by uh, with uh, shared by uh, your friends on messages or from safari so you can easily exit it by these options so it is basically like uh, there will be a code you scan the code and then and they will show you the app which is needed at at that time so as apple say app clip is a small part of your app experience designed to just be to be discovered at the moment it is needed so app clip is an easy access to any application on app store then uh, with ipad os they also came up with ipad os 14 and then there are a lot of new features they have redesigned widgets in ipad uh, os as well and they, they have new look for photos you can drag and drop um, photos from uh, you know from one album to another an album there is the sidebar for photos and then uh, there's something similar the sidebar something similar to this uh, they have in music as well so uh, pretty much uh, everything what you get in ios 14 you might uh, mostly you'll be getting that over here as well so this uh, this is also very good feature so previously uh, uh, whenever we were getting call it was taking up the whole screen now it will come as a notification on top of the uh, on top of the application what you what you're using and then you can receive or disconnect the call from here itself so you you get this feature in ipad uh, os 14 and ios 14 as well so you'll get it for ipad and iphone both and then there is a universal search so for search also it won't be taking you to the new screen it um, you can access it from anywhere uh, while using any other application it's like an instant app launcher you can launch the app you can uh, you know browse anything from the search you can call anybody from the search so it's like a universal search you can do everything uh, for your ipad uh, using the search and then uh, this very good feature that is called scribble so you can uh, using your pencil you can uh, scribble and it will convert it to uh, type text uh, you you can decide whether you want it to be converted to be type text or not so that would be uh, really easier for anybody um, who wants to uh, do a presentation and uh, you know writing anything and then they want it to be look more professional and uh, uh, make it a type text so you can scribble anything and it will make it a type text in the new ipad so these these were all the new features with ipad there is uh, scribble there is uh, you know no uh, calls with uh, new design for calls and many more things so that's it for uh, ipad uh, os 14 a uh, lot of new design not a lot of new things but uh, uh, i only told you the new things which are more important like scribble and uh, um, yeah many other things as I said and then with AirPad Pro uh, they have something called special uh, audio so with this uh, you won't be feeling like you are, your voice is uh, your audio is coming from uh, only the pods it will be uh, it will be like real life you'll be hearing it from all over as in the picture so it's it gives you real-time uh, audio experience with the special audio feature with uh, AirPod, AirPods Pro then with apple watch os uh, they came came up with new design for watch faces and then uh, you can share these faces as well to your friends and they can download it and use it in their apple watch so uh, this is uh, for apple watch os 7 um, and then uh, as we have in um, ios 14 we have uh, added cycling direction in uh, apple watch os 7 as well so you can uh, uh you know you can see the direction for uh, you can see all the direction for cycling in your apple watch the new apple watch os as well now uh, this is really cool uh, with the workout app uh, for apple watch you get one more option which is called dance so you can uh, you know uh, you can track or uh, your calories uh, calorie burn uh, for dance as well so they have added one more option which is called dance in workout app and then they have renamed the activity app to fitness app which makes most sense because it is only for fitness 
So these were the, all the new things with Apple Watch. They have new faces. They have added dance. They have uh, they have uh, something called sleep detection uh, tracking as well. So that was already there. They are doing it, uh, making it better now. Their cycling direction. Uh, the there's like uh, you know uh, language translation as well in Apple Watch. So yeah that's all with apple watch and then mac os so with mac os we we have come up with new os which is called big sur so now you will be able to download big um, uh, like whenever they release it you'll be able to download big sur for your os with big sur uh, we have we have got a lot of new design uh, you know everything would be uh, when you don't download it you will see whole new design uh, for in your macbook You'll see new icons uh, with a lot of gradients effect and uh, many more. And then there is a new controller center. So if you if you see over here, this is the new controller center, and you can do uh, many other things like uh, switch on the Bluetooth, switch on switch off the Wi-Fi, AirDrop, everything from this controller center itself. You can add new things in this controller center for easy access. And then uh, there is a notification center. So the, with the uh, uh, on the top, you get uh, the uh, date and time so by clicking on that you can easily access notification center and then uh, you can add widgets also in notification center with big Sur. and then in safari is much faster they are saying that it's 50 percent faster than chrome so all your web search uh, would be much faster in the new safari and then uh, they have custom home pages you can add uh, your uh, uh, custom images also in your uh, safari home page and then there is on safari they have uh, transition as as well so if there is any website which provide transition there there will be one single uh, access for that you can completely change your uh, website with one click and then there is a uh, privacy report as well they are giving for uh, in safari for any of the uh, you know page you are accessing so that's uh, that's that's what new with mac os you will be getting a new os which, which is called big sur and uh, uh, with Big Sur, you'll be getting all these features. And then uh, something really cool is Apple Silicon. So now, uh, as you can see, the processor is Apple A12Z uh, Bionic. So now they are moving their processor from Intel to Apple Silicon. So uh, by end of this year, they are targeting uh, to release uh, MacBooks with Apple Silicon processor, not with the old processors. Uh, not with the Intel processor, and they are uh, uh, they are saying that uh, it's much faster and it consumes less uh, less uh, 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 battery. So it consumes less battery and it is its performance is really high. So these are the these this is the whole uh, uh, gist of uh, keynote WWDC keynote. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye bye.